Hello, I'm Mix Mars and Merman, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a quick review on this product here from my, my friends over at Vivo. Um, pretty much, whenever you go to service lawnmowers, repair lawnmowers, half the time, uh, they're absolutely covered in grass, debris, or even something a bit nastier that's related to cats and dogs. And what the last thing you want to be doing is getting the machine up on your bench and also then putting your hands in it, breathing it all in, that sort of stuff, rubbing it in your face. So what I like to do with most of my mowers when they come in is give them a darn good wash off. However, my hose pipe at the moment is a, uh, well, it's a bit of a knot, it's a bit of a, a spaghetti junction. It takes me half an hour to, just to uh, uncall it, but I have got it up on, the, on a bracket. Um, but it's just in the way and spends half its life um, across the garden and the dog chews it and all that sort of stuff. So I thought, well, I'll reach out to Vivo, see what they do. And they've sent me this little product here. So this product is um, just a hose pipe um, on a recoil, very similar to my um, my air compressor recoil. So I said, well, can you send me one of those? Um, and I'll do a review for you. Because um, it, it will aid me in uh, keeping my garden nice and tidy. So I, win, I therefore win points with Mrs. P, make sure my garden's nice and tidy. And also, um, it laid me for when I go to service my lawnmowers and repair the lawnmowers. I can wash them off quite quickly and then hook it up to my jet wash if need be. And also, um, when I've finished, I can just, just pull the uh, retractor back out and then it'll retract all the way back in. It's stored away, nice and simple. It's on the wall. Pip can't get hold of it and we'll be good to go. So, let's have a quick look at what we get inside the box. Now, I do do different, different lengths of these, and what I should be doing, I should put my links uh, to the products in, in the comments section and in the description. So you better find them in there of what they do, and I'll uh, also try and put links in there for their website as well, so that'd be good. Make a bit of room. And all we're gonna do, just quick unbox it, a bit of polystyrene, put it out of the way, because the old dog would chew that. And it pretty much comes as it, as it says it does, it's in a bag. go it's got a gun on there as well let's get rid of a box it comes with a gun now it should come with all, all your bits and your bobs that you need that's what i'm hoping pretty much there should be no need to do anything other than uh, stick it up and what i'm not seeing yet is a bracket for it but hopefully it's all here let's get rid of that bag there you go so we've got your hose pipe for your feed, and then we've got, oh, it's got a nozzle one as well, that's cool. So it's got all the bits I need. And there should be, should be, oh, there you go, yeah, it's underneath. For a minute there, I thought we'd, uh, we had a bit of a full start here. That goes in there, that goes up on the, on the bracket, and then I've got a bracket in here, is, which is there. That'll go onto the, onto the wall now. Let's see if they supply you with some bits and bobs screw kits. Now it's got a 180 degree turn on it, which is nice. Let's have a look here. And we've got some raw plugs and some bolts, that's good. You've also got a destruction manual. Um, looks quite comprehensive. Um, this is the, uh, they do a, a 65 foot, an 84 foot, 100 foot, 115 foot, 130 foot uh, for European use. Um, but this is the 65 foot, this is the smallest one. I did ask for a bigger one, but they said no, try that one because it's very low on stock on the other one. So it comes with overview, it comes with a mounting tube, uh, wall plugs, uh, a garden hose, multi-function spray gun, hose connections, a stopper, um, inspection opening, a hexagonal coach bolts, 180 degree uh, swivel wall bracket, Tap to real hose, um, all the housings, and universal tap adapter, copper joint for the US, it says there. So it's quite comprehensive. Um, I think it's all in English by the looks of it. Yeah, because all the diagrams, and it, it can't be no more than two meters away from the hose pipe, and then you just drill it into the wall. Make sure you're not, not hitting no cables, and uh, and there you go. So it should be quite simple. So let's go up to the top end of the garden. Have a quick little look. So this is inspection hole we're on about. Oh, there you go, a little tiny inspection hole there. Just, uh, just have a little bit, sneaky peek inside. All up any parts that need oiling up. So that's good. Got a handle on there as well, so you can take it off the wall if need be. That's pretty good. Let's get it up onto the top of the garden. We'll find a place to mount it, drill a few holes, and uh, hopefully this will then serve me going forward 
to wash off my lawnmowers with a jet wash and also I could jet wash my car as well because this should reach around to the front of the house onto a driveway and therefore I can then um, jet wash my car and my van as well. So that could be even better. So that's cool. If this is your first time watching Mixed Mowers and Man Man, hit the subscribe button and whack the old bell. Set notifications to all. That way you'll be told next time I'll upload a video. So without further ado, let's get down dirty and let's get this Vivor hose reel, 65 foot um, hose reel on the wall that my good friends over at Vivor sent me, ready to use. Right, as you can see, this is my setup that I put up on the wall two years ago. That's what it sort of looks like all the time. And then it's just sprawled out across the garden. So we're gonna put it up on the wall here and it should look a lot tidier, a lot neater, more modern. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, it'll just be more, more effective for me to actually wash down. I wash my mowers around about here, you see, wash them all down, tip up on the side clean them all off because they're covered in like, you know, cats and dogs feces and what have you and all that sort of stuff. Clean them off so you can inspect them properly. And, uh, oh, echo standard, where'd that come from? And then um, we can go from there. So let me just get set up here. Um, all I want to do initially is just connect up the, um, the actual hose pipe to the tap just to make sure um, I'm at the right distance. So that's the main thing to do. So I just pick the device up and then You've got your hose pipe here. Let's just uh, untangle that for now. And then unkink it, disconnect that. Now, they say it's all uh, good to go. So we should see in a minute, shall we? So let's see what sort of connection we've got there. Right, go on there. Yeah, that fits on me lovely, that's good. So now, we can fit this anywhere we like, John. So ideally, I'd like to have it as far over here as we can possibly get it in a corner, because it can then go round, round, round the corner, do you see what I mean? So that's where I'd like to have it, about there, under that pot plant. Yeah, something like that, maybe about there. Something like that. And that way, when I uh, go to mount the um, uh, wash for cars and what have you, and do the, do the driveway, uh, we'll be we'll be good. So let me get it all set up, and uh, I'll come back to you in two ticks. Right. So first off, you want to get yourself a, a very very small um, masonry drill bit for, for piloting, just for a pilot hole. So I said I want it about there. That way, it, it'll fold all the way around for storage out the way. So it's nice and clear. So that should do us about there, I'd say. So we'll just roughly put it where you want it, where, you, you, where your best drill holes are gonna be. I like to go into brickwork when I do mine. So I'm gonna say about there, okay? Pull your pin out. Drop your device. And that's roughly where I want it. I mean, just get your, Get your drill bit, make sure it's on hammer, and then just mark all four holes. With all four holes now marked, we can now pilot drill and put them in. Where's my dog? Pip! Good girl, come on. Four holes drilled. lucky in respect that this um, extension is not that old so the brickwork is actually not soft but it's uh 
it's not as uh, hard as the rest of my house. Just adjusting the drill bit now because I want to make sure that my screw is going to be long enough, which it, my, my drill is going to be long enough for the screw, but it's not quite. So just going a bit further. So now I'm going to get the big boy out. Just going to measure that up against my raw plug to make sure it fits. So just go up a size in your in your uh, drill bits. All right, I've now got a big drill bit in there. So what you want to do is just measure the distance between the screw and uh, your drill bit. Make sure you don't go in too far. So I can now push them through the bigger drill bit. measuring to make sure they're roughly the right distance. Be about there on that one. That one. So that's four holes drilled. Now I get my raw plugs and a hammer. And we're just gonna send the raw plugs home. Hopefully they're big enough. Yeah, that'd be right. You bark that dog. I'll send them all the way in. Cut them off uh, if, they, if they snap off on you. Yeah. That was a bit tight, that one. I just need to draw that one out a bit more. So I might just go just a touch more on the, uh, yeah, they're a bit, little bit tight. So I'll pull them back out with a pair of long nose pliers and uh, just gonna drill them out a bit more just so they're, they're a, bit more, a bit more wider hole and then we can push them back in. So let me get them pulled out with a pair of long nose pliers and uh, just drill them out a bit next size up and I'll bang them all the way home. Right. Now the raw plug's drawn out a touch more. I've now got my screws on my, my, my coach bolts, which they supplied. And all I want to do, all I want to do is off of this through the hole and then into the raw plug. I might have to put them in first just to, just to get them started because they're quite, going to be quite deep. There's one. So just start them off. Just roughly where we need to be. Just so they bite. It's going to be about there. Lovely. Last one. I thought on the top, I'll do it in a minute. And let's run those home. Just keep an eye on it, so you don't go too far with them. Because it's only plastic, this little housing. Get one more for that. Give me two seconds. Right, so they're all in now. Um, what I did do, I just backed up um, one of the, uh, the bolts. I took them back out again, and all I've done, I just run some, uh, some washers in just behind the bracket because it's only plastic. And I don't want the, uh, I don't want the plastic to, to fail. So I just backed up with just a couple of washers. Just sort of makes sense to do so. Look, just, just a few washers there just to plumb it in. So I've done that. Um, no biggie. So that's good. So on this one, I should supply you with um, two little tiny rubber rings and a split pin. And I believe we can now mount that onto there. 
And that'll go down, down through there, and then the split pin will then go through there, and that'll just stop it coming off, which is a good idea. So I'm just going to put the split pin through and bend that over, just like so. So happy with that. The O-rings, I'm guessing, therefore uh, the hose pipe. So I'll leave them be for now. So now, um, all that's left to do, I suppose, is just to trial it, see what happens. So let's bring you guys out here. I don't know where my dog is. Anyone see my dog? Pip, come on. <whistles> there she is. Good girl. Right, so now, let's give it a little bit of a try, shall we? See what happens, Pip. <coughs> so now, let's, uh, let's turn it on. Now, we haven't got the best water pressure down on the south coast. We have got some, because um, Mrs. P's using a washing machine. So, it should work anyway. Let's just turn that on. How's that work? There you go. All right, yeah, that's pressurised. That should come off, yeah. Back on. Lovely. So that all works. And then... Oh, this would be easier, look. Look at that. So now, I can run this down a garden. Let's see how far we can go with that. So what I don't want to do is um, it locks off as well, which is great. What I don't want to do, Pip, don't chew, she's already, she's already chewing my host pop already. And this is exactly why, <laughs> why I uh, wanted this device. So let's just call, uncall this. So it recalls itself backwards and forwards. I'll show you that in a minute. Let's take all this out. And there's a sticker on here, which will say, stop. There it is there. So let's just uh, lock that off. So that's now locked off, let's see. That's good, right. Let's have a wander down the garden, see how far it actually goes, shall we? So I pick my hose pipe up oh, and bring it down to the mixed mower shack. Let's see how far we go. So I wanted a longer one. Do you know what? Actually, look at that. So that is, that's the end of a hose pipe just yonder. It is. And there is my mower shack. So I'm literally right on it. How good is that? I'm well happy with that. So it's me having a bigger idea than what I thought of. I thought I needed one bigger than what I needed. Story of my life. Um, so now what we can do is, will it recoil all the way back on its own? So if I just get a, gent a gentle little pull, just to uh, feed it back, it's running back on its own now, look. It's running back all the way up the garden. And it's calling up by itself. And I'll show you the recoil in a minute. So there you go, all the way back in, and then push it to one side, it's out of the way and done with. Now Pip might go all this bit here, she may do, we shall see. Um, I'm just gonna change this connection, it's a little bit weepy, but it's not that tight to be fair. Um, but I will look into that, um, but it might be my original connection, uh, original connection is already loose. Let me get that out again, because it did come with a gun, didn't it? So let's just pull that out. <laughs> Super happy with that. I do the whole garden, all the way down the bottom of the garden, all the way down here with you guys, all the way down to come to about there. Let's lock it off. That's locked off, that's good. Let me get the gun that came with it. Let me show you the old gun, what we've got here. So the gun, here it is. I might get a bit wet here if I'm not careful. So I'm just gonna kink the hose, pull that off like that, put that down there. Come with a gun, that clicks on. How's that working, Mick? Uh, uh, maybe just undo this, maybe. <laughs> there you go, plus and minus. Okay, there you go. So a little tiny water hose, just on, just on, on a swivel. It's got shower, vertical, angle, centre, mist, flat, soaker, cone, rinse, and shower. So it stops and starts all on its own, that's good. Disconnect it, put the other one back on. Sometimes it's best just to kink them over just before you do that. That's back on, I can wet my dog if I want to. Yep, yep. That's lovely. So there we go, so that's good. Let me just show you how it recalls up the other end because uh, it doesn't just chuck it back in, it actually recalls all by itself. So let me show you how that works and then uh, we can go from there. Right, I've got this set up um, as close as I can. I'm gonna wander down the other end of the garden. This is what I love my road wireless go, I can walk down the end of the garden and you can hear me 
as if I'm in your back garden. It's great. So now, and let's run that back. Here it goes. Right, so now that's going to start feeding in now. And as you can see, it's going left to right as it calls itself back up. So it's not actually going to get tied up in knots. It all recalls itself nice and tidy all the way back. Bang. Now, it would have been nice. One, what would have been nice is if that, if that had a little tiny clip on it that you could just literally go clip and clip that back into uh, an attachment actually on the um, on the device itself. That's what would have, that's what would have been would have been really nice if you could have just, just took this off when you finish with it and just you know clip it in so it's done. But anyway, that's good. Uh, happy with that. That will definitely reach outside by the um, by the front of the, uh, the driveway, no problem at all. So I can jet wash my car now and my van as well as, and clean off my mowers and bits and bobs. So yeah, super happy with that. Thank you very much Viva for sending me that. And uh, if you guys want to uh, pick one of these up, then I'll leave the links to in the description on where to find them. Okay, so there you go. There's your Vivo um, hose pipe reel, fully retractable, 65 feet, 85 feet, 100 feet, 120 feet, they do do. So go and check out the website. I will put the link to this one in, um, in the description and the comments section down below. I like to do reviews that are reflective to my channel and things that I can use and things that I, I can use in my day-to-day -day life. Therefore, um, the review is good for me. I get a free bit of kit and also uh, you guys get a little review and uh, see what actually, how it actually works, how to set it up. Bish bash boss, so super, super happy. Mrs. P is already in love with it. It's a hose pipe, weird. But it's nice and tidy and uh, it won't get in the way, it won't trip over it, and all that sort of good stuff. So I'm super, super happy. If that's sort of video mixed, Mother Merman, hit your subscribe button, whack the old bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told next time I upload another video. I look forward to seeing this episode of Mixed Muds very, very soon. But two and guys and girls, much more importantly, take it easy. Yeah.